Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we are on day three of my hybrid tablet with a keyboard challenge. Now, it's t I told you yesterday that I cheated, and so I've spent today trying to rectify that situation, and so I've installed Photoshop, um, I've tried a couple of other apps, and if you've been following me for a while, you know that I came out of the netbook era. And I love the netbook, I love, and this is just the modern netbook. And even when I loved netbooks, I always said, photo editing really isn't something that you want to do on a netbook. You can do it, but do you want to do it? No, it's horrible, it's horrible. It's really, really horrible. So I have to leave for Barcelona, for MWC. I have a lot to do. So I'm trying to learn a new photo editor just so I can stick to this challenge. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it because honestly, maybe if I had nothing to do, but I don't. I have a lot to do. I wanna make you guys great videos. I wanna arrange for like, interviews, which I can do on here. That's fine, right? If I have the time to do the photo editing and the processing, I mean, it, it's totally doable. 15 minutes for a five minute video. It's way too long, but I can handle it. But this, this photo editing stuff, I have no patience for and you're trying to drag the magic wand around the Acer thing. It's annoying. Okay, so this is, the, this is the one thing that I'm not gonna be able to do. I'm just gonna fess up right now. I cannot photo edit on this device. Let me show you why. So the best apps that I have found for photo editing are desktop apps. So photographics, so there we go. This, this is an app out of the netbook era, actually. This was probably one of the best uh, Photoshop-like apps that is, has been optimized uh, for the Atom CPU. So it is several years old, but the thing is, you, can, you get to do layers. It does have the magic wand. Now, this as a standalone, right, with this trackpad, no dice. I found that the cursor is jumpy when you really need it not to be. And in photo editing, that is just one of those things that is nearly impossible to deal with. So I've just kind of found that, like, I'm, I'm starting to get my head around it, right? Like, I'm starting to press control to keep on adding, but then I, I can't get the whole thing to disappear. So if I cut that out, you can see I'm missing some stuff, right? So. So I mean, I get it. If I had more time, because this is a five-day challenge and I need to get stuff done, um, to learn a whole new photo editing program, I could probably wrap my head around that. But for now, I have loaded on Adobe Photoshop and it works. It totally works. It's frustrating as heck to use it on here because this trackpad is small. Even when I have been using an external mouse, it is doable. But at the same time, it's just, it's just not all that enjoyable. Like, I just don't really enjoy editing on this, I don't, photo editing on this. I don't know why, I can, I, can, I can wait. Yes, I mean, so yeah, I'm, I'm one day into my trial. Uh, I can wait, no problem, for video to export 15 minutes. That's a little bit long. I have another video on that, if you're keen. Um, yeah, 100%, you guys should totally check that out. I'll put a little thing here. But um, yeah, for some reason, I just, I find this frustrating, but it's totally doable. So here's the magic wand. So like I could make it happen. Like technically I can totally make this happen. So there's the jumpy cursor. So I think kind of as a test case for this computer as well, it's a little bit annoying. So anyway, see the jumpy cursor, that just makes me crazy. Even with the external mouse, I found that for some reason, it just, nothing seems to work perfectly seamlessly when it comes to work that is finely detailed like this. So not everyone needs to edit photos. Like maybe if, you know, if I was in a pinch and had to do it, I'm, I'd be super happy that I had it. But these are the kinds of things here that I think are a little more Windows 8 friendly, right? So let's see if I have any photos in here. So here's me. There I am. Let me choose that. Let's say go. There we go. Now I have this lovely artistic photo of myself. Let's go back here. So that was super photo free. This retro photo is terrible. All it does is make it this color and add little frames around it. So do not download that, it's silly. Right, so the Picazolade, this is kind of nice. 
right? So it's basically Instagram. Actually, let me, actually, let me close that out. I know that I know that Windows 8 is not you're not supposed to see other programs be affected. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I know that Windows 8 says that other, other apps and programs that are open don't affect the speed of the other one, but I've actually noticed if I close the heavier programs, I do get better responsiveness. And, well, to be dead honest with you, like, though I have patience, I don't have that much. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really starting to be harping on that. But um, maybe if I had all day just to do this, then maybe that's something that would be happy. So there we go. Let's open this one again. So this is Perf Photo. Let's do effects. So we have grayscale, sepia, threshold. This one's nice because you can have a slider value there, change things around. Yeah, so I mean, the Windows, the Windows 8 apps, to be honest with you, they're a little more Instagram friendly. I haven't really found any, like maybe you get one that, one that resizes, but there's nothing really Photoshop S that's, that's worth looking at anyways. Um, there are some things in here Right, and you think, ooh, this zoner footage, this is in here, right? But then when you actually go to the website, it says you need an Intel Pentium processor, right? It, it doesn't, it doesn't say that in here. But if if you read, if you read the fine print, it's actually not optimized for the CPU, and you wouldn't actually be able to have an enjoyable experience on it. So you know, like even though Photoshop technically works, I just find it a little bit, a little bit jittery. So, anyways, that's just been a quick look at my experiences here with the photo editor. Um, Please, like, let's start something in the comments where you're putting down some good ones because right now at this stage in the game, I haven't really found anything worth getting excited about. Nicole Scott for Netbook News. Yeah, looking for help from you guys. Yeah.